I am Anil Kumar. In this particular video, I will discuss an application of dot product where we will show you how equation of circle is related with dot product. So the question which will help us to understand is right here. It says draw any line through the point A to 2. Through the point B 8 10 draw a normal to the line through A meeting it at the point N x y. Show that A B and N are points on the same circle. So let's try to understand the situation. So let's take something like this that uh, since we want to show that A B and N are on the same circle I'll go the other way that is to say that I'll draw a circle first right let me draw a circle first and then I'll take a point A on the circle. Let's say this is my point A on the circle. And from A, I'm drawing any line. So any line could be this also. So let's say this is the line which I've drawn through point A, right? This is my point A. And coordinates of this point is 2, 2. Now what I'll do here is, I'll take a point B on the circle itself and uh, join this point with let's say this is my point B and I'm saying that this particular point B from B I've had a normal to the line A that is to say on this point N we have normal now if I join these two points A and B, what do I see? Now I purposely done the other way kind of reverse just to show you that actually in a semicircle if you draw any triangle then it will be a right triangle, correct? I could have drawn any line, I could have drawn a line which is kind of like this, let us say kind of like this joining point B it will also be right triangle that's the property of a semicircle right so any triangle form in a semicircle will be a right triangle so that gives us direct relation between the three points we're talking about correct a B forms the diameter and n is any point on the circle right n could be on this side also for example I could have drawn a line from A like this and perpendicular to this will mean a right triangle in this half. So I hope the concept is clear. So this particular sketch helps us to understand that yes, it is true, right? So now let's look into the question once again. It says draw any line through the point A. It could be any line, right? It could be this line, that line, or that line, any line through A. So let's assume this is the line we're talking about. Through point B, there's some point B, which we are saying is 8, 10. So let me write down the coordinates of B as 8, 10. Coordinates of A as 2, 2. Draw a normal to the line. So if I draw a normal to the line, it's going to intersect somewhere. Let that point be N and the coordinates of n are x, y, any general point. Show that a, b and n are points on the same circle, right? So we have to show that they are on this particular circle, correct? Now from here, we know since these two are at right angles, therefore, a, n dot b, n should be equal to zero, perfect. Now, what is AN? So AN for us is what? Let's write down. What is AN? AN is equal to, because this point is X, Y, therefore AN will be X, A is 2, right? 2, 2. X minus 2, Y minus 2, correct? And what is BN? B to N could be x minus 8, y minus 10. Perfect. So that is what an and bn are. 
So let's find the dot product. That is to say, what is a n dot b n? So a n dot b n will be, a n is this, right? So we can write this as x minus 2, y minus 2 dot, x minus 8, y minus 10. And this dot product should be equal to 0, since we are given that that is a right angle. Perfect. So we can equate it to 0. So let's find the dot product. So dot product x components get multiplied so we get x times x as x squared so magnitude square we are saying right x squared so practically i should be writing this as magnitude x squared right anyway let's write x squared and this is 8 times uh, x times we, let me write minus 8x and with minus 2 we get minus 2x and uh, with minus 2 and 8 we get plus 16 plus the y components, so magnitudes of y, these are all numbers, right? So magnitude of, they're not vectors, so I could even write this as y square, whatever this y is, it's a number, right? So y square, that is same as this, and then minus 10y, minus 2y, and plus 20, equals to 0. Now you could simplify this, rearrange, so we get x square, plus y square and x terms if you add them up you get minus 10x y terms if you add them up minus 12y the constants 16 and 20 makes it 36 equals to 0 now clearly this is a circle with the center at half of this right at half of this which is at 5 correct and 6 so that's the equation of a circle, right? You can actually uh, do complete the square and also find, but at this stage, we know this represents a circle. Let me write down. So this equation represents a circle with center at 5, 6. Good. Now, some of you who are not very clear about equation of circle, what we can do is, uh, we can actually do completing the squares and find that this is really a circle, right? So, uh, so x minus 5 whole square gives us 25. So to make it 25, what we can do here is we can add, because we have minus 10, so we can add plus and minus 15, right? So so if I, let me, let me complete the squares and do it. So we have x squared minus 10x. Now the idea is to have a constant whose value is 25 because 2 times 5, right? So we'll add 25 and subtract 25. Is it okay? So we make this as a perfect square. On the other hand, with the y units, we say y squared minus 12y. Half of 12 is 6. 6 squared is 6 square is 36. We already have 36 here. So we'll just keep this 36 as such. Okay. The idea is half of this square, right? Now the first three terms gives us an equation. Let me write down. X minus 5 whole square. Perfect. And here we get plus Y minus 6 whole square. I can take minus 25 to the right side equals to 25. Do you see that? So now it is very clear. So we have a circle. So that is circle with center at 5, 6 and radius equals to 5. Is it okay? Square root of 25. Radius equals to 5. So with the dot product, we actually get the equation of circle. And with that, we have shown that A, B, and N are all on the circle with the set, which is also the midpoint of these two, correct? If I add 2 and 5, 8, what do you get? 10. 10 divided by 2 is? So the midpoint O will be average of these two, right? 2 plus 8, 10. 10 divided by 2 is 5. 10 plus 2 is 12, divided by 2 is 6, 5, 6. Exactly what we are saying here. Do you see that? And you can find the radius. 
that is to say you can calculate what is the magnitude of AO just to be clear about it right so so the magnitude of AO will be square root of 5 minus 2 whole square plus 6 minus 2 whole square right which is square root of 3 square plus 4 square which is square root of 9 plus 16 and which is square root of 25 it's always positive positive 5 so we do have a circle with center 5 6 and radius of 5 do you see that so that is how you can easily show that these points are on the circle i hope you find it interesting and useful feel free to share your comments and your views if you like and subscribe that'll be great thanks for watching and all the best